Greenkeeper pre beta checks pins and conditions. So next stage is going through the list pins. Now this one will either be really quick or really long, depending on <laughs> what they like. So go to pins, I then open up pin data, and obviously you've set these. The usual guidance is if the course allows, get its pin set as high as we can. In the ideal world, it'd be STIMP 13. So you can see on this course, the design has got pretty close, but there's a few here that are 11, a few that are 12. Um, this sort of runs in with conditions, and they've gone for setting the max stimp at 11 because that's what the pin data currently indicates. Um, this isn't automatic. You can you could still set this to 13 if you want, um, but that's obviously a choice that's been made because of this. Before you do that, I would always encourage you to go through and see if you can get them to 13 without compromising the course design too much. And what I mean by that is um, if the only 13 safe areas all crammed in a tiny little hole right on the edge of a green, but if you went to 12 or 11, you could spread them about a bit, then I'd probably at that point either be looking to fix my green mesh and adjust it and smooth it out a little bit or lowering my max stim and doing it accordingly. But if it's a matter of moving all to an area there, good pins, People always complain about bad pins. They won't complain about pins being in the same spot because they generally wouldn't play. Even if they played multiple rounds there, you wouldn't remember or notice. And, yeah, you don't want tucked pins, as we'll go through now, and you don't want bad pins or overly steep pins. So we'll work through these. Simple methodology. Set your check stint to 13. Select your hole. Zoom to view. I tend to make my marker size a little bit smaller, just so you can see how far off the edges are a bit easier. Um, we're looking for at least these, each, because we're in Imperial, each one of these boxes a yard. I would say you want a good four paces on. You can get away with three, but you want four paces on. And stay away. If it's right on the edge, say this pin had been planted like there, it won't be... It could still be all right, like there, for instance. You may as well move it to there, just to give yourself a little bit of, I mean, that's two yards, that's six foot. So six foot around the pin, if you want to make your marker even smaller. If it's all green in there, that's only a six foot radius. That's sort of gimme radius. That kind of idea with it. Um, so then just work your way through. So two is good. See, even that one, it's fine. Like, yes, there'll be some slope around there, but that's absolutely fine. It's not tucked near the edge. There's a bit of slope there. People might whinge about that pin, but it's a perfectly fine pin. So don't go, don't put them all like dead flat because that's not ideal either. Um, like this yellow one, for instance. Over here, it's still not bad. One six, one seven, one eight. It'd be fine on thirteen anyway. But again, you could just pull it back to say there, just to give yourself a little bit flat round the pin. Um, same with that one. Still have a bit of slope, but yeah, and this one's one, two, three, four, five on. It's fine. But four, and he's we've well, had it since thirteen tape anyway. So this is one. Now. I wouldn't leave it like that. Even though it's not bad, like that isn't a real bad pin, 1.7 degrees, you'd probably get away with 13 on it anyway. Um, I just think for the sake of it, put it into there. Or flatten that bit of green out a little bit if you wanted. But I, I just don't want... I, as a designer, I wouldn't want the arguments. Oh, the pins are rubbish. Just, yeah, play the game a little bit. No one's going to care. Unless you really care, in which case, if you want to fight the battle, then fight the battle by all means. But I would do that, personally. Uh, five is good. Six. So we've got a couple of pins here. It's like that one, you see. If you just only have to move it six foot, it's then fine. This one you could put there. You can have them right on top of each other if you want. No one's going to notice. 
and I genuinely mean that in even if they do so what but yeah I'd do that there six seven's just got one pin even that little yellow it's a tough pin but all round it's all okay like that red one if you want to make that a little bit easy you could just tuck it over there you could even put move that to there to there if you want to that's no tucked pin but it's flat round it one two three four four and a half yeah this one's tight though you see so you might want to bring that down just off the one two three bring it off the shoulder a little bit you can have tucked ones again it's not there's no such thing as an illegal pin just an annoying one and people like to be annoyed it's like that one there four yards on you could leave it there i don't think that's an unreasonable pin position personally but there's others who might disagree and say it's too tucked. So in that case, you could put it to there and no one's going to moan. It all depends on what, how much you, how much you want it to do. So this one, see, that's a bit of a tough area there. You can put it there. And it's not, I don't see these changes as changing the sort of integrity of the design or, or anything like that. It's just making it so that people if they hit a good shot. People like to hit a good shot and feel they can make the putt if you get it in real tight, which is a fair, a fair sort of want really. So ten's fine. Eleven is fine. Twelve's fine. To thirteen. So this is one of those awkward ones where you've already basically made the decision you're not going to flatten this green out. I assume by the way you've plonked them up in this corner. They are on enough, so I think you just got to basically bite the bullet and do that. And they're still quite slopey, and they're still quite tight. This is an area where it might be time to get in there and adjust the green a little bit. Like what have... I mean, it's very undulating up here. There's not really a good... A good area at all so yeah you'd have to do some quite severe well not severe but quite a bit of smoothing even at lower stimps this green will struggle a bit yeah there's still only that area there even down to stimp 11 so you're gonna put them there anywhere but eight is all right but you're not gonna make a stimp eight only green you could use this as a guide in unit and perhaps flatten an area flatten this area out and make a swale there flatten that area out and make a swale there it's up to you but as it stands that would make it 13 safe just one pin again you pick that up bit there pick that area out again i'll just drop it up there you're not talking a huge difference in distance or how it plays it's a different shot but that's what i'd do uh, that's fine. Again, you just need to bring them, just bring them off the shoulders a little bit. Just like that. And that's now fine. One bad pin here. It's the yellow. Just need to tuck it over. Probably tuck that one over a little bit as well. And tuck that one over a little bit as well. And then 18. This one was just, yeah. Tiny little adjustment. You move it like four foot that way, six foot that way, four foot that way, and then you can, if you really want to be, have a snotty one that's tucked, or you can bring it down here, or bring it over there. I would do that. That's a horrible pin. Tucked over a bunker like that. That is a horrible pin. Although direction of play, it's there, is it? Oh no, it's there. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad a pin actually. So you could you could put it up here to be honest, but it's a bit slopey, and it's only what one, two, three on, three on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want the argument with it. So I'd do that. If you want to have a tucked one, tuck it down there behind that bunker and make it hard. So yeah, so that's um the checking of pins as part of your thing and i'll tie in with uh this the conditions panel um 
obviously come in here and make sure you're happy with the setting of this. So you can set your wind angle if you want. Set your wind strength if you want. The stint that you want it to default when they click that course designer recommendations button. You should obviously set. And then your max stimp is the maximum allowable one. So now you've set it to 13. Definitely set it up to 13. And yeah, and that is uh, pins and conditions.